Alright, in this next video we talk about uh, how you can perform surgery. An auto number field is an auto number field, meaning that if you uh, add records and delete records and so forth, that number will always be higher. For example, if I want to do an insert into this table, I'm doing select star from units and then insert into units, uh, and we'll just say um, you, whoops, you display you description select I would never add something like that to this table I'm just I'm just doing something silly so you have no trouble kinda of following what I'm doing now do you notice here that the the key to this table it, it jumped from 5 up to 12 that's because there were a lot more records that were created, but then later on they were deleted. So, th really, this this table is up to the twelfth key. Okay, let me show you why that can be significant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete from this table, delete from the units, where you description equals feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the second record. Now watch what happens when I do that. Okay, do you see how feet, it used to be the key of two, and now there is none? If I decide to add a record back in, let me show you why this could be a problem. I just added feet back in, but you see how the key is equal to 13 and it was 2 a while ago? Okay, that's not a problem in this table, but any table that uses this information, any other table that uses the U key as a foreign key, that tries to map back to this table, there could be hundreds of records in other tables where it's already using a U key with a value of 2. It was looking for this record that had, you know, FT and then feet, but this says 13 now. So what we've done is, by doing that, we restored a record to this table, but, but we corrupted the relationship between this table and every other table. So basically, let me just go through and get rid of feet, okay, and now go back to units. Okay, so feet is out of there. What I need to do is I need to actually add this record into this table but I need to preserve the U key of 2. The problem is the next record that I add is going to have something like 13 but there is a way to do that and here's how you would do it. You would say set identity whoops identity insert and then the name of the table units on and then when we get to the end well after we do the insert we're gonna say set identity insert off let me uh, let me get let me clean up these other okay so we're gonna say set identity insert units table name on set identity insert units off the only other thing here is now because I'm doing that T SQL will actually let me tell it what value I want for the U key. And as long as I'm not trying to write a value that's already there, like if I tried to put in the number one or the number three, it's going to hemorrhage. But here, it'll actually let me write two. Bam. So do you see that? By using identity insert and then turning it on and then writing this record and then turning it back off, I was able to restore this record with a key value of 2 even though it was already up to like 12 and the next one would have been 13 so what I was able to do is overwrite that and I was able to do that right from the command line the reason why that's important is because your only other options would be to go into this table and go to design and then do hideous stuff like turn off the auto number uh, turn off the primary key but the reason why you don't want to do that is even if I temporarily turn off the primary key or the auto number 
And then what happens is if I go to add a record to that table, or if somebody else does, which is usually the case, it'll crash because it won't keep incrementing and it won't be able to write a record. So if you were trying to make this change, or if you were trying to restore this record on a live system, where people are online and they're logging into the system and they're writing to that table, you would have a serious problem on your hands if you tried to mess around with the configuration of the table. That's why, really, in this case, your only option is to use identity insert. You turn it on, you do your thing, and then you turn it off. And by the way, I could actually write several records here. It doesn't have to be just one. I don't have to turn it on and off every time. I could write in a hundred records here if I wanted, if I knew what they were. But when I get to the end, you have to turn this off. If you don't, you'll have problems.